It's a skill taking a simple piece of wood and crafting it into a gifted treasure. I never did that much out here in the wood shop. Charles Clegg is living through God's purpose, serving as a blessing to kids. He says the precious idea came from his granddaughter, Bella, when she saw he had a special talent. Got out here and made some little cars. I made a little car first, took it in, and I said, Carol, what do you think about this? And I pushed it across the kitchen table there. She said, them neat. And it doesn't stop there. Clegg is sending tokens of love nationwide, putting toys and shoe boxes through Operation Christmas Child. That may be the only Christmas gift that they get all over their life. It's the only thing they ever get Christmas. Here in the United States, kids get anything they want for Christmas. But think about it if you didn't. You just can't realize the joy you can get when them little kids' eyes start twinkling and them little possum grins come on them faces. They're just beautiful. Flex says he lived some days harder than others. Last year in December, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Rather than dwell on the news, he decided to be proactive. Every time he enters his workshop and creates a new wooden toy, it's his idea of group therapy. I don't worry about it. I know my days are numbered. When the Lord calls me, I'll go home. As simple as that. Clegg has created over 150 toys from trains, cars, buses, and vans. He says his doctor is fully aware of the activities he gets into, and he's careful in his workshop with God by his side. The Lord wants me to build these boxes and I'm going to build cars and I'm going to do it. He said, well, don't lose none of your digits. <laughs> Clegg doesn't know how long he will continue to make these wonderful creations. But for now, he's living in the moment and encouraging those with Alzheimer's to not let it slow you down. People out there who has Alzheimer's, don't give up. Keep your mind focused. Keep your mind active doing something. I did the puzzle thing till I got burnt out on them. I'm Jamisha Lyde, WRBL News 3 on your side.